welcome back to the Axiato Arena here in Kuala Lumpur. The 37th staging of the Malaysia Open. And after men's singles, we return to women's singles once again. And it's the Olympic silver medalist and um, world championship silver medalist for the last two years, Usala Venkata Sindhu of India up against Sanjay Kyung was a semi-finalist here two years ago. So when we look at the top half of the draw, where this match is going to come from, we can see that Chen Wufei is already through. 38 minutes it took her for her victory over Chen Xiao Xin. And two former champions, the two-time defending champion, Tai Su Ying, will play against the 2016 winner, Rachel Intanon, in a repeat of the final here at the Malaysian Open three years ago. A repeat of the final from three years ago. At quarter-final stage tomorrow, that should be a cracker. But this should be a good match too, because it is two former world number two ranked players. Led out by Pusala Venkata Sindhu, two-time world championship silver medalist, Olympic silver medalist and semi-finalist here last year against the semi-finalist at the Malaysian Open from two years ago, Sung Ji Hyung. Sung Ji Hyung made her 10th consecutive appearance at the Malaysian Open. And the semi-final two years ago, the best result she's achieved in this tournament in the past. Quarter-finalists nine years ago. 2010, when she lost out to uh, her teammate, Bei Yun Ju, the left-hander, who then lost in the final, had to retire in the final, actually. Bei Yun Ju. So this will be a 16th meeting between these two players, the previous 15. Uh, the advantage is with Pusala Venkata Sindhu, but Sung Ji Hyung won the last two, including in the first round of the All England Championships last month in Birmingham. Three games it was at the All England, an hour and 20 minutes for 21-18 in the deciding game. But not only did they uh, meet in the first round of the All England, this is actually the second time they've met at the Malaysian Open. The first time they met was in the second round, so the same stage as today's match three years ago, and PV Sindhu as she's known in her home country, Pusala Venkata Sindhu, won on that occasion here at the previous Malaysian Open. 23 years of age, born in Sikandarabad, just north of Hyderabad, and uh, did spend a total of 11 weeks as world number two. Currently number six, as you can see, and she's making her seventh appearance here at the Malaysian Open. Semi-final last year, quarter-final in 2016. And in her first round, she beat the left-hander, Ayo Ohori of Japan. Close opening game, but very comfortable in the second, as you can see. So to her opponent, Sung Ji Hyung, not seeded this year former world number two, a total of three weeks as number two in the world, currently number 10. And as I was telling you, a 10th consecutive Malaysian Open appearance, was a bronze medal medalist at the World Championships in Jakarta four years ago. And in the first round, she beat Fitriani of Indonesia, 15 and 15 in 34 minutes. So these Ready two players play. have, have been regulars at the latter end of uh, tournaments over a number of years now. Satyawan Mahadu from Mauritius, our umpire. Justin Zhu from New Zealand, our service judge. So a 16th meeting between these two players. I think we can safely say that they will know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Although there seems to be a little bit of communication there with her coach about 
change of angle or something. And the uh, Malaysian, Wong Tak Meng, who has left his job in Scotland and has joined the Korean coaching team. He used to be in charge of the development squad, women's singles players, and swapped places with the Korean, who's now working in India. Ladies Pante and Sun. gentlemen, so on my right, two coaches have swapped countries, Usama swapped positions. Jisindu. India. And on my left, Sung Ji Yun, Korea. Sung Ji Yun to South. Love all. Left. So I wonder if the dynamics with the coaching staff having swapped places. Whether that will make any difference. Service so over. One love. And of course, one of the tank men has never coached this lady. Well, it's been coaches merry-go-round in recent months. So it's Tan over. Kim Ho, One doubles coach in India, has now joined the Japanese coaching squad. He's a former Malaysian player, so there's been lots of changes on the coaching benches. Oh, that's a good shot. Two. One. It's only her fourth tournament of the year. Oh, PV Sindhu. Nice angle. Lost in the semi final last week in her home Service event. Over. Indian Two, Open. Three. Lost her semi final to her Bing Xiao, who then lost in the final, but she'd been 19 13 and 2016 up in the first game which she somehow contrived to lose 23-21 and I can't help but wonder if that semi-final defeat in her home oh. country last week has dented the confidence of Sindhu only time will tell Service over for all. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. Well, of course, Sindhu will be hoping Five, to rewrite the record four. books this week because no player from India has ever contested a final at the Malaysian Open. And that's across all five disciplines. That's a super angle. A long reach. Tall athlete, 179. Four. That's 5 foot 11. 
Watch that, just clips the shuttle down across court. Challenge here from Sindhu. Sindhu challenges, ball out. No, she's hoping it may have stayed in with the drift. Challenge. Correction in seven four play. She's used that fast cross court net shot so twice over. already. One's been Five, hugely successful. And that one was just wide. And she pays that with pace. And it wasn't wide by much. long service over eight five probably the longest running of the match so far indeed it is 29 shots Service over, six, eight. Judgment there, that's lovely pace on that shot from Sung Ji Kyung. Eight. Yeah, just inside the line. Precision. First female player to emulate her parent by winning a world championship medal. Sung Ji Kyung, of course, the first player to emulate a parent by winning a world championship medal was Tommy Sugiato. Bolt. Different colored medal to his father, Sung Chi Kung. A bronze medal. And her mother won two bronze medals in women's doubles at the world championships. Kim Hyun Ya. Service over. Nine, eight. It's good attacking play. Service over, nine, all. Yeah, got deflected by the net cord, the shot from 
Service over. Usala. Ten. Nine. That one. Yeah. Gone wide. And so the Olympic silver medalist has a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the opening game. Number five seed, Rosala Venkata Sindhu. Sang was saying, why do you have to go to the sides the whole time? Sometimes you can smash up the body. Eleven nine left. Goodness me, that must have Service over. landed absolutely on the line. Ten, eleven. Oh, yes, it did. That's terrific. Well, that is exactly what Coach Park so Tae-sang uh, was 12, asking for. A bit of body 10. smash. And how effective it was. Yeah, it was a very good rally. 13, 10. Sindhu down on her knees at one stage. There you go. Gets back up again quickly. And probably the longest rally of the match so far. Quality, too. Indeed it was. 30 shots. Service over, 11, 13. Eleven thirteen. Well, the umpire's going to have to keep an eye on this because both these players 
are known for taking their time in between rallies. That seemed an age after that last rally. 12, play resumed. 13. Service so over, 14, 12. is an important point. Oh! Crikey, I thought for a moment she'd miss that. Sindhu challenges. Ball well, Sindhu in. thinks she did miss it. Challenged once already in this opening game, and she was correct. There we go. What does Walker say? No, line judge got it right. So challenge just one challenge successful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 13, 14, play. People were talking last year about Sindhu and the fact that she lost seven finals that she reached, seven consecutive finals that she reached. She lost them all before winning the World Tour finals, and I, I think it became a bit of a psychological block, and I have a feeling that it's becoming a bit of a psychological block that she's getting up 15, in a game and then not managing 14. to convert. Four straight points from two points adrift to two point advantage for Sung Ji Hyung. <laughs> Missed it. It's gone long. Now, no Seventeen. Wonder, a shake of the head Fourteen. PV Sindhu. the body smash again. Service and over. Park Tae Sang applauds. 15, 17. Service over. 18, 15. Yeah, that's a good backhand defense. Very good. Service over. 16, 18.
good play and good pressure from so Sun Ji Hyung. 19, 16. Seven of the last nine points. Service over, 17, 19. Eighteen, nineteen. Well, this is going to be as much about nerves as it is skill. landed in and I wouldn't be surprised and that's just become Service the longest over. rally so far 20 game point 18 yeah, she was in good position she could have played it and it's landed in and therefore two game point opportunities to Sung Ji Hyung longest rally so far thought it probably was Twenty eighteen. landed in two opening game, game. 21 18 in First favor of the unseeded Sung Ji Hyung of 18. Korea well, it looks to me as if the drift may have changed because I'm surprised that those last two rallies the shuttle has held up well, they did indeed land in 22 minutes and 21 18 opening game to Sung Ji Hyung Sung Ji Hyung being coached I think in English and Park Tae Sang 
and certainly did his coaching in English for both coaches and players having to converse in a language that isn't their mother tongue. Second game, Taken. I knew that Partey Sung had good English because I've chatted to him, had some wonderful talks to him on many occasions. And I'm not sure how good Sung Ji Hyung's English is. He seemed to understand the coach well enough. Love. Perfect start to the second game. Three, Korean. love. the start that Love. Sindhu would have wanted. There's an awful lot of distractions for the Olympic silver medalist now. Of course, for her winning the silver medal at the Rio Olympic Games was a milestone as far as female athletes from India was concerned because the first ever female athletes in any sport from India to win an Olympic silver medal. Four world championship medals, two silvers in the last two editions Five of the world left. championships, two bronze medals to add to that. And she's in demand. Sponsors want her turning up and doing public appearances. Yep. Gets a point on the board. One, five. I've been reading in Indian newspapers. She's been in a fighter jet. She's been at fashion shows. And I suspect that actually she needs to focus on what the job is, which is badminton training Two, practice five. and mentally getting herself ready. For her athletic career. And I have no problem with a so player over. or any athlete Six, reaping the financial two. rewards of success, but the fact that she appeared at number seven on the four highest earners of female athletes with over eight million a year in endorsements. Seven, two. Higher up on the list than the world, then world number one tennis player, Simona Hallop. But just seems at the moment to me as if Pusala has lost her way a little bit as far as her playing career is concerned. Maybe a couple of self-doubts creeping in. in. And as I was telling you earlier, only three tournaments so far this year prior to this Malaysian Open. No, that's Pum on the line.
going wide. Yeah. So Needs to start that. closing down this gap. Three. Pusala. Eight. Before the mid game interval. Because otherwise, it's going to be very, very difficult for her to make a comeback. Over. And you have to give huge credit to Sung Ji Hyung because she's playing extremely well at the moment. It's opened up a seven point cushion. Ten, three. Well, there's never been a player win the women's singles here from the Republic of Korea. Three players have contested the final Korean players at the Malaysia Open. Sophie Silva. Nice shot from Sindhu. Four, ten. First Korean women singles player to contest the final here was Lee Jung Mi 29 years ago. And Bang Soo Hyung also, former Olympic champion. That was 24 years ago. And then nine years ago, Bei Yun. Yunju, the left hander. Oh, that's called in. She's challenging. Some challengers called in. Yeah, it was it. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Five, ten, play. Well, one thing's for sure, PV Sindhu will never stop fighting. Six, ten. Cool, good. So it's over. And therefore, Sunji Hyung goes for the mid game interval with a five point advantage.
So Eleven what answers six. does Sindhu have? Left. Drift has changed. Seven. Opposite direction. Eleven. Uh, she tried to take it off the top of the tape the right thing seven, to seven, try. Seven, Who saw 12, that? Seven. That one. Oh. I just couldn't get it going in a downward direction. Yeah. Perfect. Well, there's a challenge here, but I'm pretty Division certain she's going to lose this challenges. challenge. Ball in. I'm at a slight angle to the court, but instinctively, I thought that had landed in. Yeah, in fact, it was inside of the line, not the outside of the and line. Successful. One challenge remaining. Seems out of sorts today. Left. We all have off days. Sometimes there's just no explanation for it. it just happens. give credit to Sung Ji Hyung. Played a good match so far. Seven point cushion. left well 16 I'm at a loss seven. quite frankly as to know what's going on so unlike her usual self Musala Venkata Sindhu This is extraordinary. Seventeen, seven. 
six straight points. And a ten point advantage. Well, I can only see one outcome now. 18. And when you think Seven. that the last time they played against each other in the first round of the All England just last month, the match lasted an hour and 20 minutes, three thrilling games. Some? Are you sure? And they're now Sung Ji Hyun just three points away from looking at her place in a third quarter final here at the Malaysian Open. 40 minutes into the match. 18, 7. It's not even really much of a contest in this second game. It's not really a contest. An 11 point advantage. Probably been a long, long time since 1997. The son of Encarta Sinu has lost a game by this sort of scoreline for a long, long time. Another one drifts wide. Nine straight points. Match point. And 13 match point opportunities for Sung Ji Hyung. Extraordinary. It's gone wide. And Game. 10 straight points from 11 7 to 21 7. 42 minutes. 21-18, 21-7. And that most certainly wasn't the sort of match that I was anticipating. I thought we'd be in for a marathon. Match won by Sung Ji Yun. But I think... 21-18, 21-7. ...has some hard thinking to do. Because there's no doubting her talent, there's no doubting her fan base, and I'm one of her biggest fans. But that was not the sort of performance that one expects from the Olympic silver medalist. Sung Ji Hyung through to the quarterfinal, 21 18, 21 7.